This video contains discussions of sexual violence, institutional betrayal, substance use, mental health and alcohol consumption. Viewer discretion is advised. March 18th, 2018. The Cube, Canberra. Let's call it a night. I want to go home. We, we can give you a lift. Thanks, but it's okay. I can walk. We, we insist. Come, come on. March 19th, 2018. Canberra City Police Station. I think I was raped. When did it happen? Yesterday. Why did you only come in today? I didn't know what to do. Please sit down. We'll have someone from the special team to talk to you. Canberra Hospital, Forensic and Medical Sexual Assault Care. Before we do the medical evidence procedure, you need to know that what happened was not your fault. I burst into tears. I could have avoided it. April 2018, Belconnen Police Station. We couldn't proceed with the charges. There was not enough evidence against these two men. I'm sorry. July 2018. Months passed. I found myself not giving a damn about anything anymore. Moose heads downstairs quickly comfort me with the alternative feelings to sadness with whiskey and molly. The number of men I slept with jumped from 7 to 21 in less than four months. It felt like I was in control. I was living a carefree life but I became distant from my family. I almost punched my best friend during a night out and I failed my university courses. It took me a drunken and pleasurable night of getting hit in the face and being pinned down to make me realize that I needed help, professional help. So I called the Canberra Rape Crisis Center in the ANU and set an appointment with the council. January, 2019. I took a flight back home talk to my mum. She is now an activist against sexual assault in our home country. September 2019. More than a year has passed. I'd like to believe that I am a warrior, not just a survivor. I listen to myself better now. I learn to trust my instincts about a person or a situation. I learn to combat the noises in my head. No more night terrors from the same nightmare. No more panic attacks when I see men who resembled my perps. No more fear of walking past the places involved. I've had my healing journey. I made peace with what happened and I've loved myself more than ever before.